Hello viewers, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I hope you are all doing well. Today, we'll dive into recent developments, including the latest exchange rates, news about the dinar's revaluation, and some significant updates from the Central Bank of Iraq. If you find this video helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel for more updates. I also wish you all good health, prosperity, and success. Now, let's get into the news. First off, the US Treasury has taken decisive action by assuming control of the Iranian central bank to tackle issues like money laundering and funding for illicit activities. This move is part of broader efforts to enforce international standards. In a related development, a team of investigators from the US has been permanently stationed at the Central Bank of Iraq. Their presence underscores the importance of Iraq adhering to global anti-money laundering and counter-terrorism financing regulations. Initially, there was some resistance from the governor of the Central Bank of Iraq regarding these stringent measures. However, the American authorities have been firm, highlighting that failure to comply could result in severe sanctions. This intervention is critical as it aims to enhance transparency and integrity within Iraq's financial system. In other major news, the so-called theft of the century has resurfaced in the spotlight. Efforts to recover the massive sum of around $988 billion, which was stolen, are in full swing. This is excellent news for Iraqi citizens because if these funds are successfully recovered, they will be returned to the people who were defrauded. This recovery would be a significant win for Iraq, both financially and symbolically. Moving on to Iraq's economic reforms, the country has recently completed its five-year development plan. This reform plan is a crucial step for Iraq's bid to join the World Trade Organization WTO. Completing this plan demonstrates Iraq's commitment to economic modernization and aligns with international trade practices. Regarding the dinar's exchange rate, Ali ALC, the governor of the Central Bank of Iraq, has confirmed that there will be no immediate reduction in the dinar's exchange rate. He mentioned that while the dinar price remains stable and might experience some fluctuations, there are no current plans to reduce it. The governor also noted that other measures are still in progress. However, Recent security concerns and ongoing tensions between Iran and the United States could impact some banks and potentially affect the dinar's value. The Ministry of Finance is currently seeking additional funding to address these issues. This situation was a key topic during the recent meeting with the governor of the central bank, who was hosted by the Congress Finance Commission. The discussions focused on the exchange rate, real estate bank sections, and foreign trade financing. Currently, the exchange rate for the dinar in the parallel market is approximately 1490 IQD per USD, whereas the Central Bank of Iraq maintains an official rate of 1320 IQD per USD. This difference reflects the ongoing fluctuations and economic challenges faced by Iraq. Thank you for tuning in. Make sure to subscribe for more updates and feel free to leave your questions and comments below. See you in the next video.